What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. This is the Road for Champions RTG Edition. And oh, yes, indeed, Booyah Nation. For the third or fourth time on the Road to Glory account, we have got top 100. Matter of fact, we got top 50 in the world on a Road to Glory account. We did 37 and 3. If you think that is absolutely awesome, can you smash that thumbs up? Can we get 20,000 likes for top 100? It was so hard, and you're probably like, wait, Skills, why are you spoiling it? Hold on, I'm not spoiling it i had 14 games to show you guys but let me explain in just a minute this is the team i use real quick if any of you and i know a lot of you are out there taking exams right now in school please i believe in you i know you're gonna ace it i know you're gonna beast it i have faith good luck on your exams these are my custom tactics i'm gonna show you this one more time somewhere throughout the video or you can just pause i'm gonna explain to you my custom tactics but instead of showing you all 14 games i got matched up right here against a guy named medibob now medibob is a top 100 player I believe he qualified for some regionals. I, I know he was competing for the Interactive World Cup. So this guy is a, a, a guy that competes constantly for top 100. Gets top 100 all the time. And he's competing for the mega events that we actually qualified for man we qualified for miami we qualified for vancouver and we qualified for the interactive world cup so why did i pick this game to show you guys i don't even win this game i don't win this game i did 37 and 3 my first loss you guys saw we lost on penalties at 12 and and we went 12 and 1 and then i believe i got to i got to 28 and 1 and then i lost on penalties or maybe 25 and 1 and i lost on penalties for the second time then this game we were 34 and 2 we got matched up against medibob and we're gonna lose this game right here but the reason i want to show you this gameplay is because first of all i want to explain my custom tactics i want you to see the team play fully through and i also want to explain to you guys that a lot of people say i don't consider myself a pro player you guys know i don't i don't consider myself a pro player Player, but we have qualified for three events so right now as it stands you would say well he's somebody who would compete at these events so when you go to these events you're playing with pros you're playing like a pro and I just want to show you that competitive FIFA doesn't always have to be frowned upon right Medi Bob goes up early 1-0 and instead of him just parking the bus holding the ball shutting down shot watch how he plays this game watch how I play this game foot champs doesn't have to be played the way most people are playing the reason I'm showing you this full game Booyah Nation is because out of all 40 games I played this game right here I lost it and I can say this is the funnest game I played I left this game emotionally drained but it was so fun it was an open game there was goals there was skill moves there was long shots there was sweaties there was everything you could want in a game of fifa and that's what foot champs is supposed to be about now after i lost this game i tweeted out like yo i could have just choked top 100 and i didn't say that in a bad way i said that like yo you know what I had a game where it was amazing. I lost two games on pens, and both those games, each guy had like two or three shots. I lost this game, and I could turn to you and say, well, it was an open game. It was an open game. It could have went either way. And when you lose a game that can go either way, you got to be okay with that. You got to look at it and be like, you know what? I played the best FIFA I played. He played the best FIFA he could play, and that's it. And, and, and I lost or I won, and it is what it is. But when you lose those games where your opponent just wants to park it in the back and wait for penalties, those are the annoying ones. And foot champions is not a bad mode. It's a lot of people out there are making it a stressful mode. Because a lot of the top 100 players, like you see right here, we go for it. We, we go for it. Because this game, to me, if I won this, I was 35-2. and two. I was looking. out Before I got Medibob, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to get 38-2. and two. That's going to be like, we done that only one time on this account. We've done 37-3 and three twice now. And we did a 38-2. and two. Then I was like, oh, man, I'm going to top our best ever on this account again. But then I got Medibob, and I was like, well, this can go either way. I know he's a beast. And that's what it really came down to. It came down to it could go either way. You saw him take an early lead. 24 minutes in, I win myself a penalty back. And I had a chance to finally get back into a game like this. So I know competitive FIFA's frowned upon. If you go on Reddit, if you look places, everyone's like, yo, competitive FIFA's too stressful. It's too BS. It's too this. It's too that. But it doesn't have to be that way. My custom tactics. I want to break this down for you as you watch this gameplay in the background. Also, if you want all 14 games, I'll, I'll show you the rest of the 14 games. I showed you up until like 20-something and 1. I can show you the rest of the 14. All you got to do is let me know in the comments down below. And let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this gameplay. Did you think it was an awesome game? Would you rather lose to somebody? 
that played an open game against you. You felt you gave it your all. He gave it his all. Or the games that you're getting frustrated to, the games that the person's just camping in the back and waiting and waiting and waiting and you end up losing on pens. What frustrates you the most about foot champs? Let me know down below because again, it's not foot champs. It's not EA. It's that certain people want to play the game such a way just because they feel every game is so important to them that it, it's 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 kind of bringing the mode down a little bit because it's bringing everybody's mood down because foot champs is so much fun i'm addicted to foot champs but at the same time i can give you so many things that can be frowned upon on foot champs and again i know people in the comments are like well skills you know you got to do what you got to do to get a win you know when when you're somebody that's just just scraping into elite every game's so important hey let me be honest with you me trying to get top 100 every game is important you can literally only lose a max of four games if you're lucky, usually you can only lose three games. On PlayStation, you can only lose two games. So to get top 100, I know the stress. I know what we're going under. But for me, I would rather end my weekend league, honestly, man, somewhere in the elites and have a bunch of fun games I lost to players that wanted to play the game than get top 100 and play in the back. It's just the way I feel about it. I honestly can look at you and tell you that. Now, let me be real with you. When I went 40-0, I didn't do it playing great football. When I qualified for Interactive World Cup, I didn't do it playing good football. I did it the way that a lot of people are doing to be successful in this mode. And it's get a goal and hold the ball and time waste and do this. I, I never plastered around the back, but you best believe that I, didn't, I, I tried not to lose the ball at all times. And I know nobody turns their console on to lose, but at the same time, it's like, yo, when, where is like, where is it, where is it lying, right? Because the line, I feel like, when you're when you're trying to qualify com for competitive stuff like the interactive world cups and this and that i un like i kind of get why people are going so like balls deep but a lot of people are going balls deep right now for for rewards that I, it's so hard to say because rewards are so important it's hard man like i want to say that everyone should play an open game but at the same time i understand how every penny is so important in this game because it's so hard to get coins it's just it's frustrating it's frustrating at times and i know all of you feel what i'm saying you want to have fun but at the same time you want to win games at the same time you don't want to lose on pens at the same time you don't want to play somebody and park the bus but at the same time you know how important it is and it's just it's just the back and forth roller coaster man so i opted to show you guys this gameplay because as you guys can see it's 2-2 and it's not even halftime and it's 3-2 and right here i could be raging a lot of his goals are getting just straight up bounce backs. I could be raging, but I'm not because I understand that he's a quality opponent. I understand he's a he's he's out he's he's playing it just like I'm playing. Yo, it's an open game. We're going for it. You can see me checking his formation. I'm in the four two three one. And now let me get to these custom tactics. So I got it up on this screen right here. I got my speed at seventy. And these could be Kid Mamito's custom tactics. We run similar similar ones. These could be his. Uh, these are very similar to the ones that I ran 40 and 0, got 40 and 0 with on my main account. And I came back to them. All right. So uh, you can see here I'm switching into the 4 3 1 2 because it's a very, very, I go behind. I got to get goals. My speed is at 70. Everything's unorganized. Organized, organized, and then cover. I have 90 aggression with 45 pressure and 40 width, 50 width. Now you're probably like the aggression skills. Why are you going back to 90 aggression? Listen to me. Custom tactics are based on your play style, the formation you're running, and the players you have. The custom tactics I just showed you on the screen a little bit ago, that's not going to get you top 100. But if you have the right players, if you have the players in the right spots, it can get you top 100 and help you be a better player. What does that mean? If you're going to have 90 aggression, look at the players I have. Smalling, Agbana, Conte, Deli Ali as my CDMs. Why does that matter? Well... With the aggression so high, I can afford for Deli Ali to step up, miss a tackle, because he's so fast that I know he can recover. I know he can recover, especially when you get matched up against a weaker team. Now that I have a team like this, with Conte having 92 pace or something like that, Deli Ali with 88 pace, that's before chemistry styles. If I get matched up against somebody who has like a Lalana or, you know, Diego Costa, something in that range... Deli Ali and, and, and Conte are going to catch them 99.9% .9 of the time. We're going to catch them always every time. Look at that mistake right there. Game could be 3-3 and I went for the sweaty. I overplayed it, man. But now that I have these fast players, I know that if they make a mistake, they can recover easily. Thank you, Aubameyang. It's 3-3. I know they can recover. I know I'm not going to be left in the dark. Now, when I tried these custom tactics with the 90 aggression, when I was running regular Conte and I was running, you know, who else did we have? We had Chan and Pugba and stuff. It, it wasn't good enough. And I had Casemiro and stuff. It wasn't, it, I didn't have enough speed. I didn't have enough speed, enough aggression on my team to be able to run this type of aggression on the, on the, on the custom tactics. But now that I have the players in the midfield, when I went 40-0, I had Vieira, 
and hold it as my CDMs. Yeah? So right there, you see I have one defensive CDM, which is my Conte, and he's hella fast. He happens to be hella fast and offensive. Great move by freaking Medi Bob right there. He sold me, and he got another another bounce back to him, man. Um, but um, as I was saying, uh, with with I have one real defensive guy, which was Vieira Conte. Those are my guys right there. And then Hulit and Deli Ali. Those are two guys that can play defense, but they're more attacking. Deli Ali has been amazing for me at the CDM position. He gets he gets the job done, man. He gets the job done. The long legs, the speed. He scores more goals and gets more assists from the CDM role than he does as at the CM role. So I prefer him there. He plays better FIFA. Plays better for me in FIFA, um, and it works well with him and Conte, man. Like I said, I was I was um, 30. Four and two with this team. Great breakaway right here and off the crossbar. I get lucky to still be alive. A rebound that goes over. But as I was saying, man, I was lucky. No, I wasn't lucky. I was. We got into a position where we were 34 and two and two losses on penalties. So realistically, a little bit of FIFA luck on our side, and we could have walked out of here. We could have been at this position 36 and 0. We were that close from being. You guys know penalties. It's it's 50 50, yo. That thing can go anyway, yo. It all depends if your keeper feels like actually saving the ball when you dive the right way. So with that being said, we could have been. 36 and 0 going into this game against a top 100 player. That's just unbelievable. This team is beautiful in every every angle, every shape and form, and more importantly, the custom tactics work well with it. You got to find your custom tactics. I showed you guys mine. A lot of people don't like oh, Aubameyang right through the middle and Aubameyang keeping us alive 4-4. Four, four. I told you this was a banging game, yo. I told you this was an insane game. I'd rather show you this than 14 games of me go scoring one goal or two goals and then they park in the bus and I'd rather show you something like this is insane man this is insane gameplay right here man um but as I was saying yo uh I just custom tactics I, a lot of pros a lot of people won't show their custom tactics because I show you guys the formation I play I show you guys my custom tactics when I get matched up against you guys you guys can easily beat me but it's not about that I, I like to help you guys I like to to, to I don't want to sit up here and just show you hey guys look I'm bragging that I got top 100 no I ain't bragging I got top 100 I, I made this series purposely because I was addicted to foot champions I wanted to play more but I made it to show people that yo you can start from scratch and and get to where we want to be this is our third top 100 finish and we started playing this account in January our first ever one before someone says well his mega team our first ever one came with anthony Martial, the regular one in form walcott and um and and uh, a man of the match son or something like that it was some team like that yo and then midfield was regular conte it was a lot of regular cards man i think the only legend we had was lawless on the team um so i just i wanted to show that it's possible to start from nothing and be able to get up to top 100 finishes now i'm i'm an okay player someone like the pro guys like like gorilla and tass and all them boys they would have got top 100 way before me on the road to glory 100 percent. but for me um you know I'm, I'm just glad we were able to do it there was points there where i didn't even think we would do it there was when i started the account i didn't think it was possible i was like i want to get a couple elite finishes and i could show them that we could do it and a lot of people were saying when i got top 100 my main account the only reason i did it was because of a mega team and uh, the moment we dropped the mega the, the the mega team my main account and started focusing on this account we got top 100 instantly man it's, it's whatever you put your mind to yo if you want to get something you want to practice i practice heavy on this account i practice heavy i i, I you see me go through player after player after player after player team after team after team i'm constantly changing teams i'm constantly doing stuff different look at walker here getting a red card but skills you said you lost I did lose he got a red card and he was still able to beat me and Senye misses right here he paused the game I'm gonna skip that but he paused and made a substitution I believe he put Conte at right back I believe he put Conte at right back and yo I had my chance in this game I definitely could have taken it walked out of here 35 and 2 but instead I'm gonna walk out here 34 and 3 and I was nervous that I was gonna choke top 100 because last weekend I got to the point where I was very close to top 100 and I choked it I choked elite one as well um and this weekend we were able to bounce back I can tell you right now after the weekend ends I am so happy I made the Deli Ali squad builder challenge I am so happy I made the Conte uh, uh, squad builder challenge and I really think that I should do the player of the look at that he sold me so good man well played you just don't ex I didn't expect it I've played so many people 40 games of foot champs of this this weekend where everyone's always looking for the past he sold me on that man and once he sold me I just I couldn't do nothing I was beat he got me with the dribbles and, and well played to him I just I don't play against enough people who dribble like that for me to be able to like be like oh I easily could defend that yeah I just I wasn't I wasn't prepared for Perisic back to Delhi Ali Perisic once again a finesse shot and that one possibly could have been in as we go into the, you see that he had 11 shots I had 10 shots possession was even I mean that's insane that's a good game of FIFA both of us battling for
for top 100. Both of us players that you would see at regionals. Both of us players you could see at the Interactive World Cup. Now I switch to the 4 one 2 one 2 because right here, I'm trying to pick the lock, man. I'm trying to figure out what formation is giving me the best chance to get back into this game and to finally get back into the game and hold on to the game. None of us ever try to hold on to the game. He's been up three times and he never went park the bus. He, he one time switched into a 4-3-3 defensive, but it lasted for seconds. I think when it was like 3-4-3, three, three, he switched into a 4-3-3. Three, three. I instantly scored. He switched right out of it, man. So this game was just a wild game of FIFA, yo. And it was a fun game of FIFA. And it was two people just battling it out and having fun. And this is what FIFA, in my opinion, is. This is fun, man. This is fun FIFA. A lot of people like poor defending skills. It was, it was poor defending on both of our parts. We Look at Deli Ali. Goodness gracious. 5-5, five, five, bros. I'm, this team is wicked, man. Deli Ali as a CDM just comes up right here. He's playing CM, but right actually right here. He was in the 4-3-3 right here. So when it went, when he was up 5-4, he switched to the 4-3-3. I instantly scored. He switches out of it, goes back to his normal formation. So, like I said, man, shout out to Medi Bob, yo, but have fun with foot champs. Because you see me lose here, and as 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 emotion as emotionally drained I was after this game and how I thought I was gonna miss top 100 and choke it. It was my funnest game of the weekend, and I show you this with like a lot of people wouldn't even put them losing on YouTube. Me, I, I, I want you guys. To, this is cool. This is fun. I don't care if I lose or win in FIFA. I wanna, I wanna have fun. I wanna show that I can that it, it, to me that I can compete against other quality players. And this guy is a quality player, and it's five five. And should I have won the game? Yes. Why? Because I had advantage of right here the red card. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I should have won the game. Did I have better chances? No. Did he have better chances? No. We both played great FIFA. I just had an extra man, so I should have won the game. That's the only thing I could be disappointed about. Look at Sonaldo. He does the dribbling well, man. He does it well, yo. He sold me again on the left trigger, right trigger. Finesse shot with Sonaldo. And uh, that's pretty much how the cookie's going to crumble, man. I have a few more chances here, but as you can see, he scored pretty late. And who 6-5, man, in a foot champs game. Absolutely brilliant game of FIFA, man. If you guys want to try my custom tactics, do it and let me know. I'll tell you real quick when I go into the 4-2-3-1. Left back, right back, stay back while attacking. CDM, stay back while attacking. My striker, press back line, get in behind, and that's all I touch. Everything everything else stays exactly the same, Booyah Nation. If you guys want to see my 14 games, like I said, lost two on penalty, lost this one here, won every other game. If you guys want to see them, I'm glad to show you one, man. Uh, and and, and that's, that to me is, you know, if, if, if I feel like this would help people see my play style more than the other 14 games but if you guys want to see them 100 percent down look at the move right there and i get him off the ball could have been a red card let me know if you guys like this too man this was cool man showcasing this game because i had a lot of fun in this gameplay and um yeah man also anything i say in these videos no it's just my opinion um i don't ever want people to think that i think i'm some fantastic player because i'm not he should have scored right there i'm lucky i, I mean I, I i win games i don't want to say i suck because you guys get mad when i say that but i don't make these videos to prove i'm better than anybody to prove this to prove that i make these videos for entertainment purposes and to try to help my viewers out man that is all it is to it and uh, the fact that we qualified for interactive world cups and regionals that's just the bonus man um so for me it's just awesome that i'm able to get you guys packs and, and be able to show some awesome gameplay man but right here i caused the foul so you can see i was choking late on and my boy Matty bob's gonna get the w thank goodness i was able to pull out top 100 after that i went three i won three games in a row very difficult games i actually got matched up the game after this where i got matched up against a guy called fob something and fob is actually a um it's a um a competitive team from i don't know if it's like brazil or mexico or somewhere it's 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 a competitive team from one of those countries from south america um, I know that because they played Gfinity and I had a tough game. I beat them like 3-2. Very, very tough game. But that's how it ended. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you like this style. Big old thumbs up. Subscribe. And I hope this helped you and enjoy the custom tactics. Hopefully it works for you. Boy. What's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Road to Foot Champions RTG Edition as we enter the weekend. 12 wins, 0 losses. We'll enter day 2 of the weekend league. I pulled myself away from Zelda. I'm not even lying to you guys. You guys know I've been hooked on Zelda. Zelda. So your boy pulled himself away from Zelda to play with this team right here. The boy Conte, the boy Deli Ali, Pogba, the awesome Sonaldo. And matter of fact, today's going to be one of the biggest decisions in this series. I truly need your help. So please, in the comments down below, let me know what you would do. Also, while you're down there, can you smash a big old thumbs up for your boy Booyah Nation? Can we get 20,000 likes? That would be unreal. As we always get it, it's just